from the elementary school that I went to in oh. kindergarten. Uh, so the Cortez Branch Library on the South Side oh, wow. in 1984 had these breakdance classes that just got me hooked. And then I, my two older sisters, um, you know, guys that they were talking to were into uh, breakdancing. And so it was just the whole nine yards, you know, cardboard boxes in front of our house and right. trying to, you know, do whatever we saw on, on uh, breaking and, uh, you know, Electric Boogaloo and, and Beat Street, you know. So it was just out of that. And then later on, it was the whole graffiti thing, you know? uh, Even back when the Source magazine had all the graffiti section, you know, yeah, see, see yeah, all of that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I met a lot of friends. I think probably 90% of the friends that I do have now is because of hip hop, you know what I mean? Um, and so it's my excuse now to get out and travel and meet new people. So, but yeah, I mean, it's just from early on, and uh, just been engulfed by it. a fan first, and then um, I think it was about um, early high school when I started trying to be a participant in the culture, you know what I mean? Right. But it, it was always a thing of like, you know, in the basement, kind of when am I gonna actually, you know, let people see what I'm doing, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I started off with the graffiti thing, but I admit, like, I wasn't very good. like. All my friends here got dope, and I was just like, man, maybe I need to do something <laughs> else. You know what I mean? And you found that. So, but uh, but but that's why I never I'll never call myself a graffiti writer. But you know, I I got involved with it. I tried it out. But lyrics was my thing, man. I got you know I was always into. I just love language. I love English. I wanted to be an English teacher early on, so I just yeah. love language and. And so writing was just my thing. Awesome. Yeah. And, and the formation of Paint by Numbers kind yeah. of grew out of that? Yeah, yeah. well, uh, Paint by Numbers actually started um, when I had moved back from New York. Uh, other uh, member, Cross, very good friend of mine, um, it started off like I was just going to be his hype man when he did live shows. Oh. And when I did live shows, he would back me up and we would just do that back and forth. Wow. But then we started collaborating on songs and um, and we decided to form a group and that's how that all came about. Yeah. And um, yeah, we got to speak on more on Paint by Numbers. Uh, mm -hmm. You said you're working on some new material possibly right yeah, now? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've, we've been recording uh, lately. Mm -hmm. haven't put out any new material. Um, but we do have some, we do have some uh, songs in the, you know, ready to to be put out into the public. But it's always, you know, you want to make sure that when it's ready, it's it's ready, it's quality. You know, what oh, I, mean? yeah. I think, you know, the, the name of the first album was called Certified Quality, and so that's I think that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, we definitely stay tuned for that. Cool. We're gonna uh, speak more with Era in a moment, but first, uh, music from P.O.S. This is F. Your stuff. Yes. Right that one's for me. On the one. Rhyme says, yeah. 